戦も終わったというに火種は尽きぬものじゃこれは災いを招く類ではなさそうじゃが。Yeah, I'm thinking we're back. Some more Neo 2. <laughs> DLC time! Okay, it didn't,、uh, didn't take that long. To be honest, I thought this would have been like 40 part episode like, series. It would have been if we didn't do new game, or like if、uh, I haven't finished the game and we were going through it normally. We start, yeah, we start rinsing everybody. Yeah. Now that we're in the DLC, I have much less confidence. Oh. Now you got this. <laughs> I believe. Oh, so we're going to see a very special character in,、uh, towards the end of this mission.、Yeah. Who is a complete and total badass. It's me. <laughs> yeah. I hate the fact that someone died right here because it makes it really hard kicking this pillar over. Oh, yeah, because you might accidentally like summon them like, and have to fight them. Or the Revenant, rather. Oh, that, no, I'm pretty sure they did that shit on purpose. Probably. It's still like inconvenient for everyone else. Like, yeah. See, see like, like right there. Until these prisoners are a bag. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> Did you chop his head off before you fell in the water? No, I'm pretty sure you just fell. Oh, I didn't show. I haven't been able to show off the、uh, special ability to this weapon. Come on, do it. Do the thing. It does it randomly. Uh, These are Tonfa guns. Oh. Tonfa guns. Like a ruby weapon. Or I guess like a trick weapon. Yeah, sort of. Uh, Do I sound tired? A tired. little bit. You sound a little tired. <laughs> oh. These things are back, but they give them magic. <laughs> and, uh, and, yeah. It feels like I don't. It, it doesn't feel like we're playing deals. It will eventually. Or maybe. I don't know. Like, I, Do you ever remember those games that. Had DLC, but it was his own separate like, game. Yeah, like it was an expansion. Yeah, like, because like, sometimes you get DLC, it's like, like, oh, extra episodes, and like, it's in the main game. Yeah. Like, oh, these are actually get access to the, to the, like, the main menu. And I think, like, Sleeping Dogs get that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like the they're, they're the sort of like standalone、game. stories. God dang it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then it was. Infamous 2 Festival of Blood. Yeah. Which doesn't play well anymore. In terms、right, of like, controls.、Two? Yeah. Oh, no.、Uh, really? Why did you guys bring that up? I'm just、Wonder、saying it. I mean, you can still play it, but like. Ah, it's ruined your server. There's gonna be a struggle. I always struggle. <laughs> you are、uh, the number one driver of the struggle bus. That's not true. <laughs> There's an item up there that I don't care about because it got me killed. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Gun sticks. Oh, yeah. Okay, dang it. My curiosity got me killed there. 
damn my hubris. <laughs> I thought there would be a secret if I, I can go up there and cross the rock. <laughs> but what have we learned? Uh, don't look for secrets. I mean, there's probably a secret. I'm just saying. Like, no. Yeah, but there definitely was a one there. So, when I said festival, mm -hmm. I noticed that some people say festival. Okay. The B. Oh. They say festival. But I, I never correct them. I just thought about it. I was like, because I always thought I said it was weird, like festival. Yeah. Am I saying it weird? I feel like I'm saying it weird. No. You said pretty normal. Oh. That, that, that has nothing to do with it. Because I. Cause I I actually thought about time travel. Uh huh. But what I do with it? Go on. And most people are like, "Oh, I go back in time and stop myself from doing all these like BS stuff." Or yeah. I go back in time, make myself super rich. You know what I would do? Go, go back in time in this era. Uh huh. Get armor that's modified after Kamen Rider Ichigo. Yeah. And just start kicking ass, just so I can be like some historical figure. Yeah. There's like. Yeah, he was called like the mask. Like, he called himself like Common Rider. <laughs> and I wonder why. That was just what his name was. So you'd be a historical weeb. Yeah, I'd be the first historical weeb. I'd be, you know, that Common Rider. Yeah. And then later on in life, like, go back in time. I'll come back the same time that I left. And it was like, oh, yeah, in Japan, there's, you know, the history of whatever, whatever. But I just be like a Mary Sue asshole. Yeah. I'll just tell him my actual name. <laughs> What if you do that, name. and then, like, when you come back to, like, normal time, Common Rider doesn't exist as it is. Or it's something completely different. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, it was a stop on my like, Common Rider still uses, like, Nobunaga and stuff. In it. Yeah, yeah. I think they'll probably just use it as inspiration. Probably. They're like, yeah, and... He would just do all these things, and I do all the poses and stuff. That's <laughs> where they get it from. Yeah, that'd be pretty badass. And me, no, knowing me, I'm like, yeah, I did it. I, it'd be a secret I keep to myself. Yeah. Or, no, if I give my full name, then that name would probably carry over within the history book. So. So then someone like, pick up on it. Yeah, and I'm like, oh, do you know that we had an, an ancestor from Japan? Okay, like, like, oh. fame, like folklore hero. I had no idea. You just like play super coy about it. And I just had like the shit eating grin and was like, oh really? That's crazy. <laughs> You're like, he sounds yeah. pretty cool. He, he, he kinda looked like him. A lot like him. <laughs> but, I mean we're related, so that's how the game genetic works. So. <laughs> Although what are the repercussions of me like knocking up somebody in the past? Uh I don't know. It looked like I had a face on it. I was very disturbed. Yes, that was actually the back of it. Is there another one? <laughs> That's where Nobunaga's eyebrows went. Uh, yeah. His eyebrow collection. Oh god, I almost fell in the water again. Oh my god, I was going to be very upset with you. <laughs> so what do you think? Like, honestly, son of a bitch, Robert, get off that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not trying to get angry at you, I'm just... God damn it. Okay. With that... With that fuck up my... My genetics, like my timeline, like... I essentially went back and birthed like a whole... Cause... Like, think about it. My ancestors... Are doing their own thing... In their own time. Like, I don't fuck with that. I just go to a different area... And knock up a woman... And start a different, like... <laughs> You probably ruined someone else's like legacy or genes or genetics. Yeah. Stuff. Really? Like, <laughs> probably like. Oh god damn it! Son of a bitch, Robert. It's fine. I got what I needed from there. All right. Pause it. No, it's fine. <laughs> no, we're pausing here. We're, we're not, not even fighting. Taking the swim. I can get back to where I need to be in like 30 seconds. No, 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 no. I'm no, it's ruined. Not... The, run's ruined. the two hour run is ruined. It's already been done. It's up on the channel. <laughs> Alright. So if I start my own family lean, like, it's it's still me. Like, I it don't would mess probably with my ass. ruin someone else's lineage. 
Yeah, but like, what if that person was never meant to have kids and then they have kids? I don't know. Yeah. Okay, but like, what if that was supposed to be the mother of like a great hero who like liberated people? But then you uh, screwed that up. I'm trying to say my genes are bad? No, I'm just saying, like, what That's if you don't fit, birth right? a great hero? Well, I mean, given the circumstances of what's going on, considering what I did, I'd probably give them an unfair advantage by teaching them stuff that they shouldn't even know. Probably. So like... I'd probably fuck it up that way. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, I could pull off the whole common writer, like the first writer in history, to do this. Uh huh. And just go out and, like, wear armor that's 10 times stronger than what it needed to be. Yeah. And just pass that armor down, I'm pretty sure I can get away with, you know, my son being a great hero. Then again, there was uh, Hattori Hanzo and his sons who uh, screwed up the, the clan. So, and again, you know. I mean, there's no guarantee that if I did have kids, it would... My like that battery lineage would make it because after I was done doing whatever I was doing, I go back to my own time period. Yeah. I mean, my existence was still solidified because my ancestors are in Spain crossing over, so yes, like that, doing whatever it is they need. To. Right. And you know, I don't mess with that. I just happen to just go in and like, extend the family lineage by another means. You know what I mean? It's kind yeah. of I never thought about it that way. Pretty confusing though. Like I have a giant match. Yes. Like it was beating you with a giant matchstick. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> I'm staying away from the water. Please do. There's water there. I'm staying away from that. Unless you brought your floaty. <laughs> Which I did not. So I came over here to get the giant flaming arrow. And then what? Man, I don't know. <laughs> I, never, I, I haven't even made it that. I haven't beat the game. You haven't even beat the first boss. No, you did. I did. I beat the first <laughs> Actually, I didn't. I only died twice. I think. Oh, okay. That's cool. Yeah, if you're a baby. <laughs> Please be careful. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> Do you get new guardians? Huh? You get new guardian. Yes, uh, you get a couple new guardian spirits. I'm actually using one of the new ones. Oh, is it the? Uh... It's uh, a bird. You get them from the second DLC. I think maybe the third. I don't know. I don't. And it's the DLC. This DLC's canon, right? Yes. Yes. Because it has to do with, like, the main story. Like, it ties into the main story. Okay. Just double checking, because I'm still really from the main story. <laughs> and I was very confused. Oh, this Puzzle. makes it more confusing, probably. Ah, shit, really? Yeah. Okay. Alright, well, I'm pretty sure you'll dumb it down for me. Uh, I'd like to point out we're in a different time period. <laughs> We're in the uh, the Heian period, which is before the Sengoku period. By how much? I don't know. I'm not a historian. Can we go back in time? Yes. <laughs> Are you processing it? Uh, no. Time travel makes sense. Okay. And I'm thinking about like what if I did if I started planting my seed. And, like, oh god damn it! You're still thinking about that? I'm just thinking about it. Like, would that fuck up my family lineage? Probably. Like, would that would that keep me from being born? Okay. What if you do do that, but then you travel back to modern times, and then you unknowingly meet someone from that lineage, and then you bang them? Think about it. See that that's a possibility. You never know. Well, considering how, my, how I have time travel abilities, I think I'd probably keep a log of everything. It's not like I'm going to lose that journal on the way there. I'd probably keep a log of all the people 
I've yeah, but them. they'd eventually like the, the lineage would spread out, uh, and then you'd eventually lose track of the person and our people. I think. <laughs> With that me so here's what I'm thinking. Like my original ancestors. Uh-huh. If I went back in time and started like having kids and those kids started having their own kids. Uh-huh. Would that still make them related to the current like Yes uh, ancestors? Like that would make them related. Yes. Uh, but like would that make them their great 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 grandkids or, or what? Like in the matter of like I'm just in the same era. I'm just from the future. Being a douchebag and use my knowledge. You are gonna die. I am not gonna die. <laughs> Told you I wasn't gonna die. Rising Taku! But, I mean. Uh. I don't Uh. I guess so, but I mean, it's kind of like a bit of like weird to go back in time and start landing my seat places. Yes. Just to see what happens. Oh god, there's uh, something out there. I think that's a fire ambulance. I'm sure it's fine. We're here to resuscitate the fire. <laughs> and they go in there with like a holes and they like they Clear! Wait, no, don't do that. Alright. God that I will never forget how paranoid I made you feel. That was the best day of my life. I hate you. We're here. Super mega badass time. Oh, thank you. Yeah, so you wanna talk about him a little bit? Yeah. The, the real one, not the common writer. <laughs> Shit, how did you know I was gonna do that? Because I know you. There is a common rider. No, that, not common rider. Oh, okay, fine, 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 fine. Fine. Did you send them in order? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Kini. Thank you was said to have wandered around with Yo every night on a personal quest to take. A thousand swords from Samurai Warrior. He believed were arrogant and unworthy. After collecting 999 swords through duels and looking for his final prize, he met a young man playing a flute and a at a Gojo Tenzin Gojo Tenzin's shrine in Kyoto. The much stronger man supposedly carried a gilded sword around his waist. Instead of doing at the shrine itself, two walked to Gojo Bridge. In the city where the bigger bank he ultimately lost to the smallest warrior who happened to be Minamo, Minamoto, Minamoto no Yoshitune. A son of Minamoto no Yoshitune. <laughs> Minamoto no Yoshitune. <laughs> Minamoto no Yoshitune. Fuck, his words are messing me up. Minamoto no Yoshitune. Some sources claim that the fight took place not at the Gojo Bridge, but instead at Matsubara Bridge. It's a great Naruto. Huh? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I beat him. I was, I was taking a while so you can talk. Okay. Uh, is there anything afterwards? Or? Yeah, there's more mission. Okay, 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 okay. Shut up, please. Or is he just going to walk he, away? He's just guiding us. お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、
You may continue. Um. Uh, said, but instead, at the Matsum Matsubara Bridge, Alan got to the door, Banky frustrated, and looking for revenge, waiting for Yoshi. Yoshi. It says Yoshi Suni. Yoshi yeah, Suni at the Buddhist yeah. Temple of Kiyo Kiyomizu, where he lost yet again. Henceforth, <laughs> he became Yoshi Suni's retainer. Oh, that means fought with him in the Genpi Genpai okay? war against the uh, entire from 1185 until his death in 1189. Uh, Benkei accompanied Yoshi Suna as an outlaw. In the end, Benkei and Yoshi Sune were encircled in the castle of Koromagawa no Tate, which means a place with no tater tots. Um, trust me, I'm lost. <laughs> As Yoshisune uh, retired to the inner keep of the castle to commit ritual suicide, except group on his own, uh, Benki stood guard on the bridge in front of the main gate to protect Yoshisune. It is said that the soldiers were afraid to cross the bridge to confront him, and that all who did met swift death at the hands of the gigantic man who killed in excess of 300 trained soldiers. Realizing that the close combat would mean suicide, the warriors following Minamoto no. Yoritomo decided to shoot and kill Banki with arrows instead. Long after the battle should have been over, the soldiers noticed that the arrows riddled wounded the arrow riddled wounded covered Banki was still standing. When the soldiers dared to cross the bridge to take a closer look, the gigantic male fell to the ground, having died standing upright. This is known as the standing death of Banki. Or Banki no Tachiyojo. Banki died at the age of 34. Arago Do, now called Benki Do, features a statue of Benki six feet, two inches in height, and the posture he stood in when he died in Koromogawa. It was built in the era of Shotoku, the 1711 and 1715, placed in an older monument. In older times, Benki Do was at the foot of. This is making my mouth hurt. <laughs> Shasonji Hill until it was demolished. The ruins and the single pine tree still remain. Yeah, he's a bad. That hurt my ass because it's all white, and I'm just staring at the blue. Yeah, I would have read that, but like, I can't play and read at the same time, so. No, I know. That's crazy. That's that's wild. Yeah, he was such a badass that he didn't even fall over when he died. Uh, reminds me of the uh, of uh, Hanayama. Uh -huh, like on. the story behind his uh his tattoo on his back. His oh back. yeah, yeah. You know that story? I believe I've heard it, but go on. So apparently, um, the clan that Hanayama was from, of the Yakuza, like his family, where they were from, apparently was almost wiped out. Uh huh. Um, but a man managed to sneak the last heir, like the last living, breathing. Bloodline mm -hmm. on his back, hidden by a bell. Yeah. So when a bunch of samurai came looking for them to wipe them out, he wouldn't say anything. So he just stood there, and they all took turns cutting him over and over and over again. He would not fall. Mm -hmm. He held the bell on his back. Three, and he stood there for three days until finally someone found him. When he let go of the bell, oh, when he noticed he got them, he was already dead. When he let yeah. go of the bell. The kid was under there. Huh. So each, so each member, each head of the family, like the boy grew up and got a tattoo of like, like guardian, like yeah. the Neo guardian, mm -hmm. holding that bell and, 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 and like commemorate, like commemorate the man who single-handedly saved the entire clan's bloodline. That's like cool. that was him. Yeah. And he held on to that that you know, the thing. And when Hanayama got his tattoo, he said it wasn't completed, that it wasn't perfect yet. Mm -hmm. So he went and picked a fight with a bunch of other rival Yakuza's and he got it immediately cut up on his back. Yeah. He was bleeding. He says, now it's perfect. Because it looked exactly like how the guy did when he protected the... Yeah. The that's cool. Yeah. Whether or not that story is based off of some lore, I mean, I don't know. But, I mean, it's pretty cool. But yeah, at least it sounds cool. It's Baki, so I don't know. Yeah. Shit's crazy in that. <laughs> oh, did I tell you there's a fighting game based off of it? No. Or maybe you have. I wasn't paying attention. It's called something. Uh, hold on. 
I'll look it up because it's the title's like really really weird. <laughs> the title's like really Japanese. Very oh well, it's it's like it's like Japanese but like English kind of like oh like bad English translation kind of thing. Yeah. Oh, okay, dang it. God dang it. I hate these things. Ow. Uh, rat. What, you can't find it? No, I can't find the name mm. of it. But it's called... I think it's called Break, Blow, Fist, mm -hmm. or Twist. I know the Fist or Twist is the part of the title. I think it's called Break, Blow, Fist, okay. or Twist. Hold on. Okay, now that I know that, let me uh, double check. Oh, I was right. But it's called. It's called Garo Den Break Low Fist or Twist. And uh, Yuji Rohama shows up. That's cool. Okay, 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 cool. Are we close to. Uh... We're close to the end of this mission. And we are close to 30 minutes. Just double checking. Okay. This is a very informative episode today. Yeah. This is how it started with me going back in time, becoming a weeb, and just fighting my seat face. Oh, weeb sex master. Weeb sex master. Now, let me friend that. Like, it wouldn't be like, oh. You know, I just try to like romance somebody, so it might take me a while. <laughs> I think I can time travel, so I can go back in time and like yeah. fix the first couple times that I fuck up. <laughs> There's also another uh, interesting detail with Benke in terms of like his design, and I will get into that probably after this mission, just because it's something I can't remember the name of. Or he's based on something I can't remember the name of. Oh, damn. He's like, what the fuck? I did that earlier while you were reading. Oh. I was sorry. So... I was, yeah, I was, so, I was so into the... To the it's very interesting, too. I, man, Japanese... Like... History... Is so interesting. Not to say it's not perfect, but... I mean, everyone has like their... So, I... I took a class. Yes, as I have as well. Um, it was a, a recent <laughs> class that I had it taken. It's it's like the the mistake. It, I forgot what the name of the the, the book was, but it's mm -hmm. about talk about history, real history, yeah, and not what we were been told in, in schools and stuff. Mm -hmm. So the teacher often told us that what we were taught in school was a fabrication or a. Uh, a bit of a watered down version of, uh, of what really happened. What were we told? Like yeah. Christopher Columbus. We were told that he was a hero. He wasn't. He was not. He, he, you know, he was also instrumental in causing mass genocide. Yeah. And you don't they don't tell you like the end of the like the end of that story. And then he says something interesting. He says only the winners dictate history. Mm-hmm. Only those who win without history or those who are ahead of everyone can write history. Yeah. Because who's going to say no? Or who's going to tell them no? It was just very eye opening. It's like, oh, man. And now that you think about it, you're like, I'm taking a class that's supposed to be like, yeah, you know what you're going to history? And that's not how it went. Here's how it really went. Then yeah. why did I learn that? Why did they teach me that? Why is that something being taught right now? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Like, I don't know, because we want you to learn it for some reason. It's not going to help you at all. Yeah, but I thought I was supposed to be learning. 
like stuff that was based in fact and not based off of like you know oh well we didn't think that kids should be learning that kind of stuff like are you kidding me like it's a like, lot more helpful to learn like, the truth and yeah like you're gonna i'm gonna go blissfully ignorant and be like did you know christopher columbus day like, we don't have that day no more don't we the, uh no, the the people. yeah I mean, yeah, think about it. I mean, kids are like, what the hell is Christopher Columbus thing? Yeah. The hell was that? Uh, one of my soul cards. I just don't use it often. Oh, oh yeah, three. Yeah. Have you just noticed that? What about... Uh, no, I forgot soul cores were a thing. Oh, okay. Oh, William saw you use. Oh, we not that William saw you use it last time. Mm -hmm. He ran to you like, no, 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 wait, that respawns enemies. <laughs> All right, one second. Take a meat cleaver between my cheeks, but I, I catch it with my butt cheeks so the baby bones up there. What are you going on about, sir? Like that was my butt style, like. So it, like, you know how they like, catch the sword between their hands? Yeah. So I catch it between my cheeks. Like, whoosh, you know how much break, precision yeah. you would need for that? Yeah, I'm a badass. That's what makes me like, cool. Okay. They come with the cheek master. <laughs> they can catch an arrow between my ass cheeks. Okay. Only one though. If you fire another one, I'll fuck. <laughs> no, no, I just over it in my ass and I shoot it back at you. Like, boom. Yeah, just like bounces right off. <laughs> Beware the song with about the big butts. <laughs> he beats you up to it. <laughs> okay, this just circles around. Ooh. That explains why Bengay's here. And Bengay's here. Huh. Yeah, Bengay. I I said that once. I was like, cause my arm was around there. Oh, I think I need Bengay. Mm -hmm. And my mom comes in, she's like, who's gay? <laughs> I say, like, oh, you crazy woman. I'm talking about Bengay, the, the, the medical one. Like, yeah. <laughs> Give him a signal. What signal? Shh. Light it. Light your bowl on fire. Just shoot it up in the air. You know that's probably a thing. Now you think about it. Or now that I think about it. <laughs> that thing's gross. Oh, nice. Oh shit, what the hell was that? Yeah! I don't know, probably an anchor. This is like something you would draw like when you're like three. Yeah. Like, this is what I think that it looks like if you ever come home. <laughs> wow, they got real, I'm sorry. <laughs> Yo, so what, is this space just made out of the stone? I would assume so. Ow. Are you a big bitch that you come out here and fight me like a man? <laughs> Ow. I wonder if uh who win if I get out of here. Um I don't know. Probably Geralt. I don't know much about William, so I can't read well I don't know much about either, so I can't read kind of Yeah. Ew. So, I mean, aren't they the well? Who's who's magic is more advanced? Um, or more practical? Well, I don't know. Sorry, I know I brought that up in the middle of you, like, fighting this. No, no, it's fine. I would say... Probably Geralt. 
because he just has like straight up magic and shit. But I was a reliance on. Yeah, but then again, William has the living weapon and the, the guardian spirits. <laughs> and magical healy, whatever. Mission accomplished. Yeah. That's a good question. Jake, huh. hang on. <laughs> I'll get back to you in a few days once yeah. I do a thorough analysis. Once I go into the forest and like I meditate on it for like ten days. And like by ten days I mean ten minutes because my mom says <laughs> I'm... My mom says not allowed to go to the forest. And like I just start loading up the forest. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize for that. But so what'd you do? I dropped my phone. <laughs> oh, I didn't hear anything. Oh, okay. Well, if it, if it got picked up, then I'm sorry. So, <laughs>私の刀を狙って現れた弁慶は互いの命を預ける分身にこの源の苦労法眼義経霊石に見入られた兵慶を滅ぼし Okay, so the little uh, fun fact about Benke is that his design seems to be based off a, uh, I believe, set of Taisho, which is a yokai made entirely of plates, sake bottles, and whatever happens to be lying around. Oh. Because if you look at his design, he has like plates all over him. Or like vase parts. Yeah, because they can't have vase holding all the weapons, kind of. Yeah. I think that's it for this region or this part. Um. Oh, what does that mean? Hold on. We'll be right back. <laughs> all right. Uh, we're moving on to the next mission. And I think it's the these, last uh, mission. These DLCs aren't that long, aren't they? No, they're just a handful of missions left. Or each. This one's definitely the shortest of the three. And they're stripped. Chop! What are you talking about? I'm hungry. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm hungry and tired. Like... <laughs> Thank you, you're a douche for leaving him behind. Also, we're back to the hatchet club. Thank you, uh... Okay. Um, I think he's. Yeah, I think that's what's implied here. Like they took uh, inspiration from like his actual historical counterpart, and they fused him with the okay. 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 Because uh, why not? 
He looks cool. He does. He does. He looks like a walking base. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> he looks like a walking dinner plate. So your mom says not to break because it's your grandma and you actually knocked her over. <laughs> out of you and you're like, man, <laughs> try and knock that over. What are you going on about? I think Saiyan armor is modeled after this kind of armor. Probably. Or... I think Gil's a power bottom. I right, just say, yeah, just go on a weird tangent. Absolutely. <laughs> Alright, what were you saying? Uh, uh, there's the typical, like, leather breastplate. That's just, like, the yeah. chest piece and, like, straps over the shoulder. That's used a lot in, like, historical movies. Or like historical action movies, I guess. Like games and stuff. Yeah, and well, I think... games get pretty like, loose with it. Yeah, yeah. So I think that's kind of what the same armor is based on. I mean, there's there's probably like different designs that it's no, actually. Yeah. I mean, it, it don't it doesn't have to be. It's just that's when I see the armor. Kind of looks like Saiyan armor. Yeah. I'm surprised he survived that axe throw. Yeah, I thought they would have taken out one go. Look at yeah. your opinion, the DLC. Do it a little bit There we go. <laughs> you are slowly losing focus, aren't you? I am just trying not to, like, Pass out. Because we try to record, yeah, we're trying to record earlier to get more episodes knocked out, but it's either my family's being loud or Robert's family's being loud, they're getting drunk outside. No, or my neighbors something's are being loud. loud. Yeah. yeah, usually something's loud. <laughs> and no, they'll be like, oh, no, 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 you're right. No, I'm Mexican too, I know. But then oh, these people yeah. act like they never heard of a thing called fucking headphones. Yeah. <laughs> They had a blast in the air, why not? The third is like, we uh, get it. Come on. Yeah. Two in the morning, people are trying to sleep. If you get drunk and just in your room with like headphones on. Yeah, or like. Something. Something. I'm like, crawling a hole and not. Like earlier, my mom was out there listening to music, drinking a beer. And, uh. The neighbor was out there as well. Like the one from across the street. My mom had the radio on. The neighbor goes, puts the radio on, and puts it louder than when my mom had it on. So, my mom cranks the radio up. And it's just like a battle back and forth. Like, who can play the music the loudest? Like, oh my god, is he absorbing you into his ball? Yeah, it's a giant, uh... Thing. Uh, Robert, uh, you wanna focus? Uh, I'm trying to do something. Sorry, my laptop was done. I had to plug it in. <laughs> oh god, it did. I saw the screen like flicker real quick. I'm sorry. I don't know. But we are, uh, we're golden. Pony boy. It's like a uh, yokai Kirby. If you think about it, <laughs> don't think about it. I'm not. <laughs> And don't worry, I'm using the hatchet's build. Nothing's killed it so far. I think. Hey, you think Cthulhu could like, stand up against Kirby? Yes. Maybe. Yes. Because, like, Kirby's stomach is like an infinite. Like, yeah. yeah, but it all depends on how wide his mouth can open. Right? I thought a minute prize was like. I don't know, man. Cause like, how are you gonna suck something in if your mouth doesn't open up wide enough to swallow it? Has never stopped Kirby before. Hasn't it? Mm -hmm. No, like, you're right. It hasn't. Can we just stick Cthulhu into like the Phantom Zone? Yes, probably. Or have like Ultraman beat the crap out of it? Yes. There are many things in fiction that could probably take out Cthulhu. Like, probably not uh, a Megazord. Probably not a Megazord. Or at least not the Megazord that we know. Probably something bigger. 
Uh, and stronger. Okay. I'm going I'm to run out of list of names, so I want you to tell me who you think you take down. Superman. Yes. Constantine. Probably. Dr. Fate. Yeah, I don't know much about Dr. Fate. Garfield. Garfield? The cat. The cat? Because if it's the cat, then yes. I don't want to. I don't want to get into Garfield power scaling. Oh, hello there. <laughs> hello there. General Cannoli. Wow, did that axe don't take off his head? Yes. Badass. <laughs> right, you throw it, you're like, has anyone seen my axe? No, nobody moved. My, my, mom, my mom got me that axe. I can't lose it. Yeah. Like, it was that one robot chicken where uh, that one guy loses uh, like a piece to his helmet, like a horn. Mm -hmm. And someone, like, he's one of the, well, he's one of the bad guys, and he, his piece of the helmet is missing. Yeah. And the, the people are like, kind of talking mess to him. Mm -hmm. He's like, no, everyone shut up. Hold on. Wait, I gotta look for this. They're like, no, <laughs> please. He's like, I just, I gotta look for it. And they're like, what? They're like, yeah, please, can you help me find it? It, it? it was a gift from a friend who's no longer with us. I just, I don't want to. They're like, no, no, no. We'll, we'll, we'll help you. We'll help you. We'll help you. He's like, thanks. I, I really appreciate it. And they cuss the thing. He says, never found it. Aww. <laughs> You ever think about the timeline we would have been in if uh, PT ever came out? Uh, yes, things would have been. I am everywhere right now. Well, no, because like, if PT would have came out, we wouldn't have Death Stranding, and I really enjoyed Death Stranding. Yeah, but like. Man, then I'm again, most people don't. Random. I feel like they don't. What? Uh, enjoy Death Stranding. You want to look up the score? Um, no. Oh, yes. Like Out of curiosity. <laughs> like, I feel like it's a very specific thing. You know what I mean? On Steam, it got a 9 out of 10. Okay. 87% of people like this game. Wait, I'm back. Eight out of ten. Yeah, a lot of people like it. Because like it's a good story. It's an acquired taste. Like you yeah. have to really be willing to like be down the clown with it. Cause essentially it is just delivery man simulator. Yeah, and if you're not, not yeah, if you're not into like walking around and just exploring the area, then you're probably not gonna like it. <laughs> Speaking of that, you will be playing it, or at least I would like you to play it. Uh, whenever you get a working capture card. All right, I'll uh, think about it. Or at least I want you to try it and then see if you would want to play it on the channel. If not, then I'll play it on the channel. If I play it, yes, and it probably because like I heard that. You have to be a certain amount of like ways in before you can start making any actual story. Uh, sure. Or am I miss? miss am I not? Understanding it's a whole that? bunch of story. All right. Like it's very I'll, story heavy. Uh, if I play, if I play that stranding, then you have to play a game of my choosing, whether or not you want to or. Not. Okay, but you still have to play Mega Solid Five. Fuck no! It's either Metal Gear Solid Five or uh, we are Death Stranding. Pick it. one. They're both Kojima games. We've you bought it. You might Death as well Stranding? play. Yeah, it was on sale. Yeah, you might as well play it. I thought I wasn't gonna. I thought I was gonna play it, but I ended up buying the entire Yakuza series as well. Okay, and whose fault is that? No, it's, it's not. It's not. I because that. I don't like Yakuza Three. <laughs> And I'm not oh, playing it me. ever. <laughs> nope. I we knew where this discussion was going. <laughs> I'm not playing it. No, I'll play. I'll play. I'll. Uh, I'll find a game that you're gonna be a little iffy on, and we'll run through it. Okay. Make a bunch of madness. 
Oh god, why am I fighting this guy? I don't need to fight him. He kicked your ass, is that what, that's what happened. Yeah, I forget he's there. And I forget he's extremely strong. Uh, do we need to pause? Yeah, we'll pause and then we'll get right back there. Okay, yeah, we'll pause. Okay, we're back. Alright, Robert beat him, no problem. RKO'd him as soon as he went in there. It's crazy. Uh, that is someone else. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's move on. Holy shit, I am tired. Please stay like, alive. I closed, I closed my eyes, and I just wanted to keep them closed. And, uh -huh. it, felt, and it felt like they were closed forever, but it had only been a few seconds. Yeah. I, uh, I like the nerd out the sleep we're falling asleep at seven. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Don't like the crab? Me too. No, I don't like this crab. No, he's terrifying. Yeah, he is. Do I actually have to fight that guy? No, I don't. <laughs> I can just turn this way. He <laughs> kicked your ass. They come off on him. Yeah, I was like, I really don't want to fight him. Beat him with the telescope. I'll beat you with the telescope if you talk to me like that ever again. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know. I was talking to a bitch. I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. <laughs> I don't mean any of that. Is that Saki? Yes. Snake. Snake. Saki. How did I know you were going to do that? Because we're friends. And future of heaven. I watch him do this backflip. Where is the... What are you there looking it is. for? Antidote. In case I get poisoned. Again. By what? What's gonna poison you? A lot of things. <laughs> Stuff that uses poison in this game. I'm not seeing you once get poisoned. I was literally <laughs> just poisoned. I know. Your butt, baby. So one time, uh, I was... I don't know what I was doing. But I'm pretty sure I was being an asshole because of it. Yes. And... I was just, I don't know, I was just being a dickhead earlier in the day uh -huh. as a kid. And my mom pulls in, and she's just like, Justin, stop running by the truck. You made me nervous. Uh-huh. And one day, I was just running by, and I was like, hey, nice weather we're having. She stops, and I get the, the rear view mirror. Uh-huh. I was like, punk. And I fell to the ground, I was like, ah, oh, why? <laughs> I thought, this couldn't get any worse. Uh huh. Well, it got worse because the house that I lived in was a big house. It was just, had no reason to have that. Right. Weird little steps. I, uh. My room was right next to where you could step for. It was just like a little two steps where you would leave your shoes at. Mm -hmm. So I was half asleep and I walked. And I guess I missed. I, uh, misstepped. Because I ended up falling down those two steps and hitting my head against the door. Oh God, that uh, that explains a lot of things. And I got no, that doesn't explain nothing. They explain and then I got the way you are. I I, I, I crawl to the restroom, like pee, get up in the morning because like I started to go to school. Uh huh. And then as I was getting ready, I missed uh, I missed put my foot into the, the thing, and I guess I. Just wasn't paying attention. Yeah, I, uh, I fell and I just hit the floor real hard, and I don't know. I felt like crying, but I was just gonna lay there for a little bit. <laughs> and my mom comes into the room. And she's like, "Oh, I don't feel so well. You guys are just gonna stay home." Oh, I'm like cool. Okay. I kind of just stayed there and slept. <laughs> Mind you, that I was still in elementary, so. Oh, yeah. okay. This wasn't like when I was older. Yeah, yeah. You made it seem like, oh, this was uh, when I was older. No. I was in elementary. I was for <laughs> Oh, it's that garden spirit you're like. Yeah, there I thought that I'd be here. I mean, relatively speaking, we're not popular yet. Yeah. I mean, at all. I don't know. 
If anybody's watching in the future, hey, thanks for watching. <laughs> Man, you sound exhausted. I love every single one of you. You're gonna be a Babel Samurai, I promise. Swallow the cold. Sex, drugs, and rock. That's not a thing. That's not even our cold. Shut be up. kind to one another. Treat each other like you would want to be treated. Also, Batman wins every round. <laughs> but you think otherwise, I'm dying. <laughs> I don't know why we're shooting them. I just go out, go down there and take care of them in like 30 seconds. Ow. Stop. <laughs> what are you shooting with? I don't know. It hurt, though. Like this. You shot with a paintball. Okay, there we go. You're just trying to take one of them out? Um. Oh, okay, I can see why. I don't know what I was trying to do there. I'm getting kind of tired. <laughs> They're very annoying. But, like, okay, power through this, you guys. Yeah, those, those enemies are very annoying. You know a game that uh, I haven't thought about in a while? Spider Man. PS2. Spider Man earlier. No, PS2. Oh, Ultimate Spider-Man? No, 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 the other one. Yeah, the movie Spider-Man? Yes. The one Bruce Campbell did it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. it's because yeah. oh, I think him and Sam, Sam Raimi were uh, the evil dead. Yeah, that's probably the only reason he's ever... Be careful, careful, please be careful. I don't want to have to deal with him later again. I know what I'm doing. I'm not a. I've heard those words before. You no, know, uh, the one game I was thinking about right now was Primal Rage. No, oh. is that a thing? Primal Rage? Yeah. Okay, I thought I made it up. No, it's the one with the dinosaurs. Okay. Oh, this. <laughs> Go on. Remember what it was called? It was Dragon Ball Z. Something. I think it was Saga. Oh! It yeah. was so bizarre. Like, she turned Super Saiyan. And I remember it being so ridiculous that you have to twirl the joystick. Yes, I remember that game very vaguely. I kind of liked it and I kind of hated it. It was weird. It was weird. Well, she was like. Was... Uh, you're cutting out. Oh, sorry, sir. Uh, how do I sound? Good? You sound good now. It was like an open world kind of thing, and like we fought cells like this whole big event. But I think the game stopped at cell. Really? Yeah, no, it went on to the android. Yeah, that's cell. No, past the cell. Game. cell. No, not the androids. No, the androids were before so. No, you're right. I'm. I, I got that mixed up. Yeah, because I remember Gohan being the crap out of Cell so bad he spews up 18. No, yep, that's right. It it did stop around Cell, I think. So there was that one, and there was another version of it where it was so weird. It was it was a fighting game, but they only do like half of the characters that I remember. Playing as trunks, but like you can, like you can change unlock sword. Mm -hmm. his, his sword, his regular sword, can change to katana, and then he can change it to a beam katana. Yeah. And like he chose the fatal what is the like a fighter. Mm -hmm. like, it's so weird. I was just thinking about that right now. And I went meant to play. Oh God! Wasn't it like a uh, a semi open world? we well, not like open world because it had like levels. But wasn't it? Like oh, it was like. Um, it wasn't like an open world in the traditional sense. Also, Dragon Ball Z started off as a card game before anything else. Okay. <laughs> uh, that was his first thing. Um, no, but so what it was was it was like this. It has set level and you went around and you were fighting like Cybermen and stuff. Yeah, like but that. you could explore the levels. Yeah, but it wasn't open open world like Dragon yeah. Ball Z Pac-Man. It wasn't all just one big map. And Budokai had a, a, a different traveling system. Uh, Budokai 3, I think, had it. Where you flew around the world and you picked areas you would go to and you would just like fly down there. But it would honestly be like a one on one match. Yeah, I vaguely remember that. It was crazy. 
Dragon Ball Z was like on this weird binge of like, it's, like even like Dragon Ball Evolution. Like, yeah, it was like level a, designs a and version of it game design. Like, yeah. Yeah. Because it was like uh, Budokai style. Hi, Benke. His head's a pot. Or a vase. Or a jar. I don't know what you would call it. I have to fight him. That's badass though. Yeah. Ow. <laughs> Deep right here. Right he looks like he has Genji sword. Yeah, he does. Ow. He's so quick. You know, but now that we're now that we were talking about like wow, the kid and stuff, I always had a after school ritual. Mm -hmm. I would go home, watch the kids WB, uh -huh. and eat a ham and cheese pop. Yeah, it's simply ham and cheese. Also, he has two bad kids. Right now. God, he is so annoying. I hate him. Whoa. He's a really cool moveset. He looks really cool too. He's a all around. I, I love the way he looks. I love the way he's designed. Him. Yeah. Tengu, right? The thing he's going for? Or he's just chicken? I guess. It reminds me of a. Uh, Ow. That did you want? Trophy one? Uh huh. A Nobunaga man. <laughs> Nobuman. Why are your axe going? Uh. Yeah. Ow, I ran out of stamina. You gonna drop him? I don't have the sword. Or the claws. I can apparently only do that with the sword of the claws. Oh, is that a skill you can have? We can still do the nymph. I mean, I have a sword on me, but. I'm not gonna swap it out because uh, it's not very useful. Hey, just do a Zuna drop him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you can do that, I believe. Ow. I can't do that. Never mind, I, I believe the whole time. Hey, I got the thingy. Thingy you already have? Uh, no, it was a skill that I didn't have. Certain bosses drop certain special skills. の遥かな道が待ち受けようとこのあやかしを打つ刀ある限り私も戦い続ける
残された我が育ちの思念をたどり真の敵を討て That was anticlimactic. <laughs> I uh, are think DLCs connected. I think that's it for the first DLC. Uh, there might be an extra cutscene, so give me just a second. Alrighty, well then. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Uh, hope you guys had a good day. This is the end of the first DLC, right? Yes. Okay. Uh. We'll come back next time with the second part of the DLC. Until then, we will see you guys next mission. Bye. Bye-bye.